Hello there. A new poll says that 63% of people in the UK want to see a government of national unity put in place during this crisis. Firstly, as ever, please kick that YouTube algorithm up the rear by giving this video a big fat like. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check my YouTube channel daily. Funny how short people's memories are. Because according to a YouGov poll out yesterday, 63% of those asked would like to see a government of national unity put in place for the duration of this crisis. And here was me thinking that a government with a stonking 80-seat majority replacing a dismal-hung parliament would fit that bill nicely. But hey-ho. But what was striking about this poll was the number of Tories who agreed with it. As you can see from this graph, 31% of those asked strongly agreed with a government of national unity, and 32% somewhat agreed but only 7% strongly disagreed and 10% somewhat opposed, so the total opposition was just 17%, with 20% undecided. Then when you look at the Conservative voting numbers, you can see that a total of 54% were for the idea, but the majority of these were only somewhat agreeing with it, and 30% opposed, with 15% undecided. Now we get to Keir Starmer's Labour, where 75% are for the idea and 46% are strongly agreeing with it. Only 8% are against it, with 16% undecided. And with the Liberal Democrats, a whopping 84% want a government of national unity. Only 11% oppose it and 6% are don't knows. It seems that the likes of Plaid and the SNP weren't asked, presumably because they don't ever want a Westminster government running anything for them. Now, I can understand Labour and Lib Dem supporters wanting their sides to stick their oars in, but Tory voters? But you do have to ask what a government of national unity would offer in terms of governance, other than to grease a few egos. After all, all it would do is put any constructive opposition behind closed doors as everyone would be expected to toe the collective line in public. At the moment, the opposition can ask hard questions in public, and as long as they're not seen as party political questions, then the government and the public can see it as a positive. And consider, with a unity government proposals put forward by Labour and Lib Dems would have to be accommodated. You know, like extending the Brexit implementation period, with the deal being, we'll agree with everything the Tories do with regard to the crisis, as long as we have a two-year Brexit extension and get a written guarantee that we can help shape the new UK-EU trade deal, including lots of lovely single market, customs union and free movement. They'd also want to send oodles of money abroad, and ensure the borders are kept as open as possible, and completely trash Rishi Sunak's crisis response plans. And I'm sure there are loads more. We had a general election in 2019 that made it clear that both Labour and the Lib Dems were to be kept as far away from power as possible. But supporters of the Red and Yellow Brigades should be careful what they wish for. The Conservatives have a knack of making sure they stay the Teflon Tories. Look what happened to the Lib Dems after the coalition. They will ensure that any political brown stuff emerging as a consequence of this crisis will be, at a minimum, equally shared about. And should there be such an arrangement, you can bet your bottom dollar the knives will out and accusations start to fly as they disengage. And that will take our eye off the economic recovery ball. Unless people are expecting a unity government to continue for a couple of years... Some hope. 
I'd prefer to stick with what we've got. Wouldn't you? Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about all of this? Please share and comment, and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.